All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we got the webinar recording. <laughs> so I was telling a story about fire walking. So when we, and thank you, Denise, by the way. Um, so when we did the fire walk, I was like, I'm totally going to do it. I post on Facebook. I'm going to do it. Then we get there and he's like, well, go, no running. Okay. And I was thinking, oh, you know, you press your foot into the coals and it could burn you. And he's like, cause then you could trip. And then I was like, I never thought of tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I want to fight fall. And then I just started to get more and more and more scared. And so, right. He's like, okay, you know, you basically asks if you're going to do it. And, and so I, I did, I raised my hand, but it was like this. Yeah. <laughs> so we go and we're walking. It's like an eight minute walk. And the whole time I'm so scared. And there are other people just amped. And I am just like, okay, it's going to, it's going to be okay. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm going to walk over there. And if I chicken out, I chicken out. And then I was like, and I posted it on Facebook. And if I chicken out, I'm going to have to be like, I totally chickened out and people will know. So then I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to do it. But then as I got closer, I was like, Ooh. and then I could see the coals and it was like 12 or 15 feet of them. And I was like, uh, ha, ha. and I'm like, okay. And then I just made a decision and I was like, I'm doing it. And I did it. And I, I'm so happy I did it. Like anytime I have overcome a fear, right? It has shifted my life. So this is a little off topic, but honestly, starting a business can be scary, right? But if you overcome it and you overcome the obstacles, you guys, there's so much available. While we were at that event, while I was walking on fire, Amazon was busy shipping stuff out. Um, our list that uh, we we create because our employees actually run that. They were sending the list out um, and they were purchasing stuff for us and stuff was getting shipped out for us. And um, the customer service side of it was handled. I mean, it, you know, what a blessing, right? So I could be at that event and really enjoy it, be full, full force in that event. And, you know, and, and we had a business running. So that's why we want to share this kind of stuff with you. That's why we're doing the webinars. That's why we did the course. One of my strengths is to put together um, how to do stuff. I had somebody message me recently and they're like, I heard that your repricing video is amazing. Can I buy the video? Just the video. I just need that video so bad. <laughs> and I've worked with other people. I was working with a woman on repricing again, same thing. And she's like, how did you figure all this stuff out? And I was like, I, it just, it's how my mind operates. It's how I do things. I keep going until I have it system, you know, until I know how to do it. And that's what I want to share with you guys. So we're going to go over all this stuff, but I just, I wanted to share that story and yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cause that's the key <laughs> is like what, what um, we're going to be talking about later is system, right? Cause uh, what you want is you want a business system. You want something that kind of, you know, it's, it kind of runs independently but you can step in and step out, you know? How many of you guys would like a, a business system versus being like self-employed or something like that? How many of you guys would like a system? Where you're trading time for money, where it's all on you. Yeah. You know, or would you rather not? Are you folks using App Eagle? Oh no, um, actually uh, we use Be Cool, B-Q-O-O-L. I, I have a free training video in our free training series and I have an in-depth one in our, in our course. So if you guys aren't on, uh, in online arbitrage, uh, the free group, there's some awesome training in there. I recommend it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, did I hear sound from somebody? I don't know. Did someone have a question? Nope. Okay. All right. And we got, so yes, Nikia, absolutely. From Nakia. She says, absolutely. Yeah. I'll, awesome. Awesome. Okay. Okay, cool. So, all right, cool. All right. So, um, before we get started, you guys, just where are you from? Like, where are you, uh, where are you based out of? Let's hear from everybody. Just your state or country. Hey guys. Hi, Ann. So, um, Hi. anyone on Facebook live, you're welcome to join the webinar. The link is in the comments. Georgia on nice. Facebook live. Virginia. Mesa. Tanya's from Mesa. Yep. Awesome. Cool. North Carolina. Awesome. North Carolina. <laughs> awesome. I love North Carolina. He Beautiful does. State, man. He's going to take us sometimes. Tampa. Awesome. I'm Tampa. actually going to Tampa um, here on the 4th. LA. LA. Just from Chicago. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
Yeah, cool. Cool. So you went from windy burr to like sunny all the time. <laughs> Georgia for now. Cool. Georgia. All right. Never been to Georgia. Yeah, me either. Awesome. Okay. Well, guys, um, how would you guys like to see um, what sales look like right now? Sales look like right now. Oh, sorry. The dog's trying to mess with me. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to put her in a cage. So that's I'm a yes. So, so, you know, the thing is with sales, like obviously um, one of our highest months was in December, right? We did 70K. Um, and uh, we'll, oh, BC Canada. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> it's like squirrel. <laughs> um, so uh, what we wanted to show you guys, though, is what our sales look right this minute. Because um, one of the things that I notice sometimes in trainings is you get with people who maybe work, they had a really big result. They, they achieved something really awesome, but they don't know what's working currently right now on the ground in your business. So that's why we wanted to show you our current sales. And I'm proud of this, man. We jumped. Are you sharing sure the screen? Is it? Yeah. Can you guys all see that? You guys can see the screen, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm on screen share. Yes. Thank you. Okay, cool. So, um, uh, in the last 30 days, we did 31,000 just over, and which is awesome. Like that was a build for us because we kind of slowed out in February. Um, so March we started coming back. So in, and you know, then it keeps growing. And the cool thing is, oh, well on Facebook live, I'm sorry, you can't see the screen on Facebook live. Um, yeah. Can you, you can totally join the webinar. Yeah. The link is in the comments. Um, so on this, uh, yeah, we built back up because we slowed down in February. And that's the thing about business, right? You always have to make adjustments. But the cool thing is, is there are so many opportunities inside of Amazon to make adjustments and to, um, to, uh, like, okay, well, for instance, we weren't really selling shoes, so we started selling some shoes because one of my ex coaching clients who's amazing, he um, was like, hey man, shoes is where it's at. So I was like, okay, I'll check it out. <laughs> <laughs> and so now our balance is going up, right? So I expect we'll probably be hovering around 40K within a month. And, and then I don't know how much we'll grow from there because the cool thing is, is we love to teach, right? We have a system in place. We like to put stuff through the system. But besides that, we're not really big on like, um, I don't know. I, I like to do a lot of other things, right? So yeah. Anyway. So how would you guys like to feel like thirty thousand dollars is a slow month for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm, this is cool too. Our payment's going to be over ten thousand, so I'm excited for that. Um, Let's see. We got Tanya says yes. Nakia says yes. Denise says yes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, cool. So what I thought I'd show you guys is like some actual, oh, Nate's from Seattle, nice. Welcome, Nate. Um, but I thought I'd show you guys some actual uh, products from, uh, that we've sold. So like, if you wanna know like what is, like what do you expect profit-wise? Because it's one thing to have like sales, but what would you expect profit-wise? So we thought we'd show some examples of some stuff that we've actually sold. So um, here's one, for example, this is a Corel uh, Square white 30 piece dinner set service for six. Um, we paid $67 for it and sold it for 127. Um, and so um, I'm gonna guess that the profit on that is probably around what, 30, 30 to- It's probably like 40. 30 to $40 or so. Because it's a higher price point. Yeah. yeah, okay, so around 30 to $40. And I'll show you guys, um, we'll show you like how to calculate profit here in a little bit. So let's show you another item here. And these are actual items that we sell, right? And this is a Neutrogena uh, three bar soap. And we sell a lot of bundles. Um, we like bundles because um, we, we like to sell in like the health and personal care and beauty categories because you can get a lot more profit. Um, this one I think costs like 10 bucks and it's selling for like 26 bucks. And we'll show you on like how to calculate profit on that kind of stuff. So um, let's go into, let's skip this slide. Let's go into here. Um, so what we're going to show you guys, if you want to take notes is like when you're just starting out on Amazon, cause this is more for the folks who are just getting started, right? Want to show you some stuff like you can do today to help you make, you know, hundred, 200 bucks a day. And then we'll show you stuff that can make you, you know, 500, 700 bucks a day profit. So, um, and the other thing too, is for people who 
have been going and have started. Another reason why these kind of webinars are good to watch is because it reinforces that what you're doing is going to work. Okay, so to be successful, you need to believe that the treasure is out there, that you can get the treasure, and that it's going to be worth it. So that's the kind of thing, that's the reason you want, one of the reasons you want to watch these, even after you've gotten, you keep going, right? It's just like um, my friend who showed me his shoe sales, and I was like, whoa, okay, I'm going to start selling shoes, right? It, 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 it um, reinvigorates you to get out there and keep going because you know other people are doing it and being successful. So. Cool. So um, for those who are not familiar, and a lot of you guys, you know, I follow this, so you know what fulfillment by Amazon is, but I'm just going to explain it just like you didn't know anything about Amazon or what it is or anything. So fulfillment by Amazon, FBA, um, <laughs> means that Amazon will ship your items for you to your customer. And they take care of all the customer service parts. Nice. It's good stuff. I really highly recommend it. You know, people are always like, um, guys, do you want to learn how to make money while you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> well, we do that because Amazon ships crap out for us. Like if I had to be doing that all the time, I would have more than a full-time job. Right. So, <laughs> excuse me. So basically what she's saying here is that what we do is we buy items and uh, we buy a bunch of items, right? And then we have it sent to um, our prepper, usually in Oregon, right? She just had a baby. So yeah. we're doing prep for like a few weeks. Right. And can I tell you how spoiled we've been for having a prepper? One, her stuff is beautifully prepped. I mean, like perfectly done, gorgeously done. <laughs> it would, yesterday we are doing the prep and I was like, oh man, I am spoiled. Because it really wasn't that bad. We, we spent about five hours on it and we had some help, but... <laughs> still it's just kind of what you get used to so yeah so anyway so what she does is she bundles all the items together and then sends it in amazon's warehouse and then it's there at amazon so where all you have to do is be competitively priced and when it's competitively priced it will sell and then amazon will ship the item to the customer for you and it is so nice it is so nice just like what sherry's talking about yeah we started on ebay and it was a lot more different yeah we yeah. didn't love it <laughs> yeah no offense to eBay, it was just mainly laziness on, on my part. So, so, so basically, um, there's many different ways to do FBA. There's um, wholesale, there's private label, there's retail arbitrage, there's online arbitrage. And if you're not familiar with these terms, it's okay, we'll kind of explain these real quick. So what we focus on is retail arbitrage and online arbitrage. And retail arbitrage is essentially going to local stores, going to Walmart, Target, Kmart, and you, you have a, um, an app on your phone, you can actually scan the barcodes for items. And let's say that they cost like, you know, five. You pick or, something you found. Uh, let's see, something I found, a uh, video game, video game. Oh yeah, he got those on such a good deal, like dollar, like for a buck. And we want, well, what were those ones? We sold some for like 60 even. Yeah. It costs like, those might have not been, those might have been $7. Yeah, it costs like seven bucks and it's mm -hmm. sold for like 60 bucks, you know? Yeah. So it's really uh, lucrative, or at least it has potential to be. Right. Um, because we have some tips and we'll talk about a little bit later in the webinar about retail arbitrage and how to get those kind of deals. Right. Yeah. Right. So, and, and then like, again, we're going to talk about the system and all that, but so that's it one way you can go to the local stores. Online arbitrage, which is basically all we do at this point, we could add retail arbitrage into it, right? Um, but <laughs> honestly, I, don't wanna. <laughs> I just don't wanna. And we focus more on coaching and education. So um, online arbitrage is uh, when you are buying from online stores and then selling that on Amazon. So, you know, same stores, Walmart, Kmart.com. Um, you know, you can buy more items doing it that way. It has its pluses and minuses, all models do, but that's what online arbitrage is. So it might sound fancy, but all it is is just buying from online stores. And then um, the cool thing about, you know, either one of those models is you can start small and scale, right? Because um, I've seen a lot of people, you know, they'll like throw down like a ton of money, like into a, a big wholesale or, or, or a, um, a deal with a broker, which we've done you know, or they'll throw in a bunch of money for a private label product and they don't really know yet what's actually going to sell. And so, uh, you know, it really breaks my heart to see that happen where, you know, somebody will throw a bunch of money down and they have this private label. It's just kind of sitting there stuck and they can't really sell it. 
Well, so, too, you know, I kind of think of OA and RA as paid training. So once you have RA and OA down, you know how to uh, evaluate, there it was, evaluate the product. And it, that way you can evaluate bigger deals as well. You have all the tools in your belt as far as this, the charts and all the stuff that you need to know, like your best educated guess, is it going to sell? And if you don't do that before you start doing like brokers kind of stuff, wholesale kind of stuff, you can get, um, we've definitely lost money on several deals. Um, but this is, is it cool because you can get paid to be trained like that. And then along the way too, the way we do it is you'll find replans. You'll find things that are selling so much so that you can go backwards and go to the supplier and see if you can get a wholesale deal because you already know it's selling. Like you already know. Right. That's actually how we landed one of our wholesale accounts. Exactly. Just like what you're talking about. So that's the cool thing is uh, what she's saying. You can kind of follow the rabbit trails, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, so basically what we're saying is many paths to success. Um, it's true, because we know people who've been in all different um, areas. And very specifically, we picked um, online arbitrage and retail arbitrage um, because of how, well, and very specifically online arbitrage, because of what we wanted, right? So, and I recommend you guys do this, figure out what you want. Some people I know want to have a big warehouse. They want to have a whole bunch of employees and like it's that's what sounds good to them. That's how they want to spend their time. Like a friend of mine, he's like, if I can get my work day to about six, he's like, I got my work day down to eight hours and I was like, cake. And I'm like, your work day is eight hours. <laughs> so see, I would prefer a four hour work day, maybe a two hour work day. Some days no work. But see, other people like to work, right? So you got to pick the thing you want to do. One of my clients, he loves to do retail arbitrage because he loves to drive. He loves to wheel and deal. So he was forcing himself to on, do online arbitrage. And I'm like, hey, you know how to do online arbitrage? Hire it out. You go retail arbitrage. Do what you love, right? So keep looking at it. Oh, thank you. Denise says replens equals replenishables. <laughs> Stuff you can go buy over and over. So for us, we wanted a lot of time with our family. We didn't want Matt traveling. Um, out, you know, uh, because we live in a small town, so a retail arbitrage is not a huge um, opportunity here. So he would have to travel. So we really picked the model we wanted. We tried private label. We've tried it like three times, maybe four. So far, no hits for us. But it doesn't mean I'm giving up, right? You know. And uh, again, you can start working in the wholesale as you go, and I highly recommend doing that. But uh, for us, this is just really the best way to do it, and and I love it because we are a blessing to our employees. They all have good pay um, and we pay our bills and we get to take trips and be together. You know, I mean, like that's awesome. I'm excited for the other parts of our growth, the bigger explosions of income, but this is, this is great. And I wanted to share with you guys, man, how, imagine being able to pick up your kids from school every day, be there with homework. And like, not only that, it's he and I. So, our son is with Matt and I all the time and he, he doesn't even notice like how cool it is that his dad's here unless sometimes he'll notice with his friends is like their dads are never there. <laughs> so anyway, I kind of got off track, but there's a lot of paths to success. Just think of the one that fits the best for you. And if it's OARA, you know, I hope you guys get with us. And if it's not, I'm totally cool with that. There are other ways. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I told you a little bit about how we kind of, decided, but Kay's story is amazing. So she started thrifting. She didn't have money and she found a cookbook and how much did she sell it for? Yeah. Like 89 bucks or something like that. Yeah. And she got it for like nothing. Like 12 bucks or something yeah. like that. And she, she, so then she went and found more of that cookbook and she just, she did over a million dollars in sales last year. Yeah. She did like 1.5 and just kind of tying in what we're talking about, just that you can start small, you know, you can scale, and then if you just keep reinvesting the money back in, this is what's possible. So one of the reasons I love Amazon, because so many of the things we've done, you have to have a huge budget to do, but you, you can, you can start small and keep reinvesting as long as you're a hustler, as long as you're willing to put in the work. If you have more money and good training, you don't have to work as hard. You can just start making money. Yeah. So. Yeah. So uh, what we thought we'd go into like, um, this is great stuff for, you know, you're just getting started, right? Is 
um, getting set up with your own <laughs> Amazon seller account. So the way to do that is you go to seller central. Dot actually, if you go to amazon.com when you're signed into your account, you can click sell, sell on Amazon on the bottom, or you can go to this website as well. And there's actually in our online arbitrage group, there is a free training that lists out the, the two different kinds of accounts you can have, the different kinds of stuff that you can sell, and it explains all of it. So I really recommend doing that video. It's not a very long video, and it's, it's got some good stuff on how to get set up. Yeah, so. cool, cool. So yeah, so you go to Seller Central, you get your account set up, and then um, see the icon on the left, you get that Amazon Seller app on your phone, it looks like that. And what that Seller app is awesome, guys. What, you know, when, when we got this, it was like, holy freaking cow. So you can like and scan everything, pretty much you know anything with a barcode, and you can see how much it's selling for on Amazon. And I recommend starting by scanning stuff in your house um, because what we found, I had a book on um, clothing design in my my cupboard for like I don't know since we moved here at least longer than that, probably six years. So one day I scanned it, and it was selling for. $67? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so I sent that baby in and I sold it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, when you first start, um, just go ahead and scan all kinds of stuff. When you go to the store, scan stuff. I mean, because it's just, you know, it helps. Like we were at Walmart and um, our son was like, okay, let's go to the toys, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So he's looking at toys and we look at this end cap and it's filled with bubble ponds and uh we um i was like hey maybe scan that so matt scanned it we bought like i don't know 17 27 one of those and sent them in and they sold so you know it's worth it to do that kind of stuff because you'll just luck on to things like that and um you know and then of course you know you really hit it hard if you're going to do it but it's cool and then Denise said, definitely go through the free training. It's awesome. Yeah, thanks, Denise. Thanks, Denise. Denise is also one of our members inside our coaching and our training program as well. So I appreciate that. All right. So uh, specifically, like, you know, you have the Amazon seller app. Okay, now what do you do, right? Now um, you can hit the retail stores. And specifically, <laughs> you can go after the clearance items. What's so funny? Oh, uh, because I didn't do the full screen, it's going to show the there's a title behind her. So the good news for you guys is you don't have to be good at everything to be good at Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. They don't probably care, but anyway. No, of course not. But uh, that's, it's good news, right? I mean, you don't want to have to be good at everything to be good at Amazon. It's true. So <laughs> anyway, go to clearance areas. Um, you can find stuff like, you know, uh, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, you know, selling for 30, 40, 50 bucks, you know, that's the kind of stuff that you look for. Look for end caps too. Yeah. End caps are usually quite a few products they want to move. And then Matt has a really good tip for you guys. Yes, here it is. Here's the big tip is guys, you know that when you're buying clearance stuff, uh, you don't necessarily have to pay the price that's on the tags. You don't have to pay what's on the price that's on the tags. You can actually negotiate to see if you can get a discount on those items. So that's, that's a huge tip for you guys. Because if, if you can do that, um, you know, let's say you can get 50% off, uh, let's say it's a $10 item and you can get it for like five bucks, right? And it's, you know, and everybody else is selling it for like say 20 bucks or something like that, right? And so basically um, then you can be one of the people, you know, one of the sellers with, who got it at the best possible price. And if the price lowers a little bit, you'll be able to sell it at a more profitable price. So Matt's been able to get 50% um, off clearance prices. Yes. So that is really awesome because yeah. I mean, it shifts things, you know, so if you were going to pay $5 now it's two fifty. So it makes a whole bunch of stuff more profitable. Um, one note is don't do that at target. Target doesn't like resellers. <laughs> you can do it at, at uh, Walmart. <laughs> Don't do it at Target. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you guys just joined us on Facebook Live, there's a comment there with the uh, link to the um, webinar. To the webinar, and you can just join the webinar through there if you want. So anyway, okay. So um, the other thing too, guys. So here's a way to to get even better prices on your clearance stuff. Is did you know that you don't have to pay sales tax 
Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the thumbs up. Yeah. You don't have to pay sales tax. So like if it's a $60 item, instead of paying, you know, for us, it would be like $64. Um, you'd pay $60, which may not be that big of a difference, but it's four bucks. And when it adds, it adds up over time. So you can go to stores, Walmart, Home Depot, Toys R Us, and you can get tax exemption. So anytime you're buying stuff from those items, you can get tax exemption there. So yeah. Yeah. Makes cool. A so let's just see. Are you guys getting value out of this so far? And also, I want to see if there's any questions so far, too. And you can unmute yourself, too, if you have questions. Um, let's just see what's going on. Just got exempt. What do you mean, Denise? You just got that exempt. Do you mean you got sales tax exemption when buying from Amazon? Oh, really? Cool. Oh, wow. So that's a huge tip, guys. You can get tax exemption. So another thing that you can do is you can actually buy from Amazon and then sell that stuff back on Amazon. One of my favorite. A lot of people don't realize that. One of my favorite. Oh, gosh. Ha ha. <laughs> you got a call. <laughs> so one of my favorite things to do. Yes. Are you getting tax exemption with your business license? Okay, cool, Dina. And Toys R Us does the yeah. tax exemption, yes. Yes. Uh huh. Well, it's it's not just your business license; it's uh, your reseller certificate. So, depending on your state, it's either called reseller certificate or sales tax license. Um, and then you just take that in, and you're good to go. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, Toys R Us. And yes, Toys R Us will do tax exempt. That was the question. Oh, so uh, Denise got uh, tax exempt with Amazon with her bus Amazon business account, <laughs> and I recommend. If you're going to be doing AZ to AZ flips, getting an Amazon business account, there's a lot of uh, valuable um, perks to it. <laughs> Apparently, a tax exemption is one of them. See, that's a new one for me. I didn't know that. That's great. Yeah, and says I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. So, so good. That's that's a good tip for you guys. Good. I, I'm just hoping you guys are getting value out of this so far. Oh, I know. One of my favorite buys. We found these pet pads um, on Amazon, and they were. Amazon was clearing them out. They weren't going to sell them anymore. And we got them for dirt cheap. And then we were able to sell them for like five times the, what we paid. And they flew as soon as they went. I was like, man, I want more of those. <laughs> <laughs> so Amazon to Amazon flips can be really great. Yes. All right, cool. Let's move on. Okay. So what we thought we'd talk about is, oh, wait, let's see what Ratish says. Thanks. I got the reseller license and print out certificate pet per, per stores. stores. Any more stores you recommend? Pay the Costco. Costco. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Costco. Yeah. So you can get tax exemption at Costco. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You can get it at Lowe's too. Well, that makes sense with Costco because they're used to dealing with businesses, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, cool. Another one, Costco. And Lowe's. I mean, the three we listed on there are Lowe's and now Amazon, we know. Um, but I'm not sure as far as other tax exempt. Um, that's a good thing. You know what? I'm going to put together a little tax exempt list. So cool. I'm writing that down. Okay. So what we thought we'd talk about now is online arbitrage. And online arbitrage, like we say, this is like our, this is basically what we do. And um, all essentially it is, is like we said, we're buying from retail stores. So um, the cool thing about online arbitrage, the reason we like online arbitrage is, you, is it's, in my experience, it's easier to create it as a system than, than retail arbitrage. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are people who do it, right. But you know, you've got to have like a team in place in a certain city and you know, it's a little bit more to it right now. And there are some benefits though. If you get your retail arbitrage stuff down tight and you can train someone else to do it, there are some killer benefits out there. <clears throat> and actually one thing I wanted to mention, um, okay. Sam's club is also a good one for taxi. Oh, okay, cool. So, Sam's club. Another one. Awesome. Um, inventory lab. Uh, actually, just barely, you can do a Scoutify shopping list and upload it now into your, um, when you're listing items on Inventory Lab. So that is killer for retail arbitrage. We're going to mess around with it and do a video on it, but it, I'm excited for that. That's yeah, awesome. That is cool. So it'll help as far as systematizing retail arbitrage. Yeah. So. Awesome. So anyway, uh, Scoutify. Oh, Scoutify is um, inventory labs, uh, 
seller app. I mean, not seller app, um, scanning app. Yeah. So the two seller apps that, that, when, when, that you can use for like retail arbitrage, the main ones that I use. That we use. Yeah. And like. Is the Amazon seller app and Scoutify. Amazon seller app will tell you if you Oh, she's asking, it. is it new to Scoutify? Oh, I see. But we can answer okay. the Scoutify question too, so. Yeah, and then Scoutify we use a lot as far as like doing the charts and a little bit more in-depth stuff. And But we have some, like in our uh, PSS course, I have a, a sheet that kind of talks about ranks in different categories and then about how many sales per month. So um, sometimes we don't always have to refer to the charts as far as like the number of sales going on because we already have it kind of an estimate. Um, and then with uh, the question is, as far as using the buy, the buy list, in inventory lab yes it's new it's brand new so. yeah okay cool so yeah you can just um how would they find the scoutify app they want as well sometimes keep it yeah exactly see that's the thing with the scoutify app is it'll allow you to um go into like keepa and <laughs> well if you're not familiar with what keepa is it's basically a chart that shows the history of a particular item so like if you're going to go deep on an item, you want to buy 20, 30, 40 item of a particular item, you want to know, like, am I getting this price at a discount? Because you don't want to be stuck with, you know, a lot of one particular item and then have it tank on you and then you got to lose money on that item. So the Keepa chart allows you to look at history and the Scoutify app, tying back in, allows you to look at the, um, the history with the Keepa chart. Yeah. Because you can just quickly uh, pull it up, if that makes sense, on your phone. So how would they get the, the Scoutify app? I think you can just type, search Scoutify mm -hmm. and it'll just be right there on your apps. Yep. So, okay, cool. So, um, online the, arbitrage. So let's go back to online arbitrage. Um, <clears throat> what we're talking about is how do you find product, right? Um, there's a lot of different ways. We have three sourcing methods that we use. Um, and I'll just go ahead and tell you for online arbitrage. It is, our replans are big, our replenishables. Then there's um, lists and tactical arbitrage. So I have some free training on all of that, but the, the in-depth, you know, intense stuff is inside of our course. Um, but specifically to find lists. So a, a list is something someone else has went out and curated all this stuff for you and put it together and been like, here, this is profitable. Here you go. And, you know, you have to have your own standards. I really highly recommend that before you do lists. And then you can buy off of them. And for us, I mean, I know uh, sometimes you hear people, they're like, oh, well, lists, blah, blah, they're saturated, blah, blah. But for us, we have just not found that. It has really worked. We're on a list with 50 other people, and all those leads are great. I mean, we sell through that stuff, and we sell our current turn rate, I'm proud of, is 5.7. Uh, so what that means is we have 64 days worth of items, pretty much. So that means even though we're sourcing lists heavily, we're still selling our stuff within 64 days. So that's amazing. You think about how fat, I mean, how much money you can make when you do that. So, but you gotta have a system. If you go at a list just willy nilly, it doesn't work. And that's why you hear people complain about them. But if you have one, you can make a lot of money doing them. Yeah, I mean, to point into Sherry's analogy earlier about walking across the coals, it's kind of like that, right? Because um, at the Tony Robbins event we just did, you gotta just be like, okay, I'm gonna do it. And you, then you do it and then you just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. And then you can look back later and then you say, okay, what were the results of what I did? See, and that's where a lot of people get, I think get stuck with lists is they kind of dabble around and they don't, they don't have a software to track to see what the sales are. So there's like, um, you know, I don't think lists really work. And you know what, if you've honestly done your, um, done your thorough research and you've done the list and stuff like that and it doesn't work, awesome, move on. But you've got to fully give it some time to test it out. So. Um, hey, thanks for sharing our video. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. So um, with, yeah, for us, what we do with lists, okay. So we get on a list and usually I try to find a recommendation because there's a lot of lists out there. If I get a recommendation, I'll get on the list. Usually within the first month, I can tell if it's really not going to work. I mean, like we're talking, it just doesn't work with our criteria. Which is interesting because I have other people <clears throat> who get on the same list and it works for them. So it all depends on your criteria. So um, in the first month, I know for sure if it's like not going to work. 
but we usually do at least two or three months to test. We upped it some because what we found is, you know, I mean, it takes time for everything to get in and then you have your sales. You got to do at least two months to really know what kind of profit you're looking at. And really three is my, once you hit three months, you really can't compare. You take, you know, your, whatever you're on, whatever your sourcing methods are and compare them. And then you'll have a really good idea. You're kind of off camera right there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay, there so there was a question about tax exempt. So you can do some tax exempt online, um, like uh, with Walmart. There's a whole process to do tax exemption from Walmart online. Um, yeah, same thing with Home Depot, I, I believe. Yeah. Um, the, the trick with tax exemption, if you are buying online, is you, we mentioned we have a prepper in Oregon. Mm -hmm. Oregon is a tax-free state. So there's Oregon, New Hampshire, Delaware, and... Montana in the continental US. So the key is if you're buying online to have it sent to somebody, a prepper in one of those in one states. of those states. Because that's how you're gonna get tax exemption. Yeah. So hopefully hopefully that's useful for you. So So then we had an ungating question. So ungating in health and beauty, um, <clears throat> health and personal care and beauty, it is a little bit more intensive. Automotive is not. Um, automotive is pretty simple um you have to have a website and uh you know our page you can refer them to essentially of what you want to sell um <clears throat> but for uh health and beauty you need to have and I, i'm just gonna go ahead and give this away you need to have two good invoices and a reseller license or you know sales tax license um if you put that through do it through pdf do, do not send them with jpegs Send them with PDFs, and you want to do at least 30 items per invoice, um, and make sure it matches the category you want. Because, like sometimes, like say, Q-tips might be in beauty, but they could be in HP, HPC. Pick, you know, make sure you have it to the right one. Now, would you recommend actually 36 instead of 30, just to be on the you safe can side? You do that. Yeah, just to be on the safe side. Get 36 of a particular item. Some people get it done with 30, so just you know, you decide what you want to do. <clears throat> And some people do the three invoices. I found the two invoices with the reseller licenses would be my preference. And then there are a bunch of wholesalers that you can order from. Um, but I'm not going to give those away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay. So on back to lists, um, Amazon list pushers, um, you can check it out. There's people in there who are sell leads and stuff. We have our own list that I think is really good. <laughs> You know, um, we have a li one list that we love that has been great for us. And I was like, you know, I'd like to have another list like this. So we have attempted to create as close as we can with what we have available for us like that. So it's kind of like a mini list of that one, but it's also cheaper than, than the other list I love. Yeah. By 50 bucks a month. So. Yeah. And our staff actually puts that together. They They're awesome. They're wonderful. Yeah. So. so cool. So, yeah. So what you do is uh, go to... FBA list pushers, and there's a bunch of places you can get leads there just to start testing it out. So anyway, question is, uh, what do I buy, right? So we were talking about earlier, hey, do you online? So it's a question about if our online uh, retailers flag our stuff when we ship it to a prepper. So that's a good question. And no. <laughs> so here's what it is. Um, we were using a really, really large, very popular uh, warehouse uh, prep and ship not that not prep and ship just, i'm not going to name it but it was a and um what happened is, is several of the stores have classified that business as a freight forwarder which means that no matter who orders from it the orders get canceled then they start flagging your account then you have an issue when you order again so we have only had one store that we couldn't get unblacklisted from by utilizing that so that's another thing to think about Go after smaller prep centers, not the great big ones, because, and or or if you do that, find the the reseller unfriendly stores, ship those to your home, and have the rest sent to uh, the big prep centers. So with us, we have a prepper, and she only works with us, so we've had no issue sending stuff, even though our billing address is in Utah and she's in Oregon. Okay, let's see. I don't know why it's not telling me that. Anyway, if you had another question after the large order, um, 
I it, it cut it off. Do you find that? So. And if you're not familiar with what a prepper is, is <laughs> what we were talking about, somebody who preps your items because they need to be prepped before they are sent into Amazon's warehouse. You can't just buy it from the retailer and just have it from the retailer to Amazon. It needs to go to a third party, either yourself or um, a prep center, somebody who will separate it how Amazon tells you to separate it to ship it in. So not to get too complicated. And but, get it labeled and, yeah. you know, bundled if you're doing that. It is pretty simple once you get going. But that's why I recommend training. Um, I went, okay, so the stuff that's in the free group, that is, exp that's like the amount of training we had when we got started. And we just kind of moved along and even maybe less training. I mean, I had to figure out how to do a shipment by myself pretty much. Like, so um, getting training is so key because then you have an opportunity to condense your learning time. Because it takes, everybody it takes time to learn. But imagine you take what I learned, what it took me two and a half years to learn, and I'll teach it to you. Imagine how much faster you can go. This said, uh, you limit the quantity of items to what, okay, it depends on the, the um, retailer. So the question is, as far as when you're ordering online, how many items do you want to order so you don't get flagged? So, you know, some places are reseller friendly. They don't care. You can order whatever you want. You can order as many times as you want. Um, some places have quantity limits in place. Um, the, you kind of have to feel it out. I don't think there's like a hard and fast rule because um, like uh, ordering on Jet lately, the quantity of nine has been working for us but I don't know that that'll work forever, right? <laughs> um, you know, so it just depends. Yeah, uh, and yeah, yeah, you just have to kind of feel it out. Um, and then some type places, what you can do is you can order smaller quantities, but you can order multiple times a day, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so question is, what do I buy? So what we want to talk about is just, how do, we were talking about earlier, like some items, how do you calculate profit? Um, would you guys like to see like how you calculate profit on particular items? Again, yeah, just use that chat box if you're not familiar. How do you guys know, know that? Denise says, yes. Tanya says, yes, please. Okay. Melissa says, yes, please. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so um, we take an item, okay? And then notice that the red arrow, it's pointing to this B00 number. Uh, what that is, that's called the ASIN. Now, every single item on Amazon has an ASIN, it's an identifying that um, number for each item, okay? So then what we do is I copied that and then I pasted it into the Amazon FBA calculator. And I've, on Google, you just type in FBA calculator. Yeah, just go to Google, up. type in FBA calculator, and it'll pull up, and then you just put it in there. And there's even better, funner software that'll have it right on the Amazon page for you. But. So anyway, so you click that search button, okay? And then um, it'll pull up like this. And then what I did is I, I just put in a scenario like where it says Amazon fulfillment. You, you click on that right box. And what I put in is that we're going to sell the item for $25. Okay. And then. And now you would take this price from what is selling. I would recommend uh, what's the um, buy box. So what, what the buy box price is. And um, go ahead and put that in there. Yeah, and so then what we did is we put the cost of the item, and that's where it says cost of product. So I just put, let's say for example, that we paid $8 for this vitamin, okay? And then if you click calculate, then it's gonna come up with the profit. And so it shows. And the other thing you can do too is put in your shipping to Amazon, so you can have a, a guesstimate as far as per pound, how much you ship into Amazon. For us, yeah, yesterday it was awesome. We, I think a whole bunch of stuff went in for 40 cents, an item, not pound, 40 cents an item. And then one, and I think it was even better, it was more like 25 cents an item. So, you know, as you get shipping, you can get, you can figure it out. And then also Amazon, when they, depending on where they have you send it, will have you save money, so. Yeah, so anyway, um, let's just assume that <laughs> there wasn't um, any shipping costs, just to make it simple. Obviously, there's just gonna be inbound shipping, like she's talking about 40 cents or whatever it is. Let's assume there isn't for just a minute. And so what it would pull out then would be $10.32. So now $10.32 may not sound like much, but if you picture like that's happening multiple times a day, $10 a day over and over and over again, 
But so. I mean, it's amazing because if you buy a product for eight dollars and then you get back eighteen dollars and thirty two cents, you pay off your eight dollars and now you have ten dollars and thirty two cents. And you know, yeah, it goes over time. It's not like a, a one time thing. And and that's I recommend having a lot of product in them going wide because then you have sales across the board all the time. Right. Right. So, um, so showing that just to show you an example is uh, one of our friends, he does, uh, all he does is retail arbitrage and online arbitrage. Okay. And then look what he did in December, just from retail arbitrage and online arbitrage in 30 but majority days. Majority retail arbitrage. He's heavier into the retail side than the online side. Yeah. But still, I mean, so I just want to show you what's possible, right? These are, it's incredible. Just the possibility. All right, so let's talk about sales rank because we want. So you hold guys on, to Melissa sales. has a question here. Is there a way for us to figure out how much uh, it will cost per item to send it into Amazon? That's a good question. Um, you're going to gain that from experience, Melissa, because um, what we do is in our Amazon seller app is we put in like fifty cents per pound. Is fifty what we cents, have. yeah. Some people put in seventy-five cents per pound just so that they have a little bit more of a buffer. But it, when you put that into your app, it'll automatically figure it for you. Um, Obviously, like bigger, bulkier items, Melissa, they're going to cost more uh, per item to ship in. But the smaller, like those little vitamin type stuff, that's going to cost less. But so, like, I mean, we had stuff all the way from, we had a two pack of saran wrap, which was heavy and big, all the way down to like little tiny makeup things yesterday. And I mean, you know, between 25 cents and 40 cents per item when we shipped it in. So that's just kind of an idea. But the per pound is probably a safer bet when you're scanning. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. So now here's, here's another important thing, guys, as when you're selling on Amazon, see when we were selling on eBay, it's like, we didn't really know what was going to sell. Uh, you know, what, is this going to sell or is it not? I mean, you kind of, really, cause it's just kind of like guessing for us. So what's nice about Amazon is the Amazon sales rank. And the way that you, uh, this works is, um, every single item on Amazon has a sales rank in a particular category. So well, that's not true. There are some that are not ranked and that usually means they've not sold. Right, right. So uh, let's give you an example. So let's say books. Um, now, if you look at this, this item, for example, in books, it says 123,775 in books. So out of all the books on Amazon, this rank is 123,000. So you're wondering to yourself, well, how, what does that mean, right? How, how do I know if that's selling or not? And actually there's a free video <laughs> in the online arbitrage and it is talks about the apps that we use, the free things we use to evaluate products. And it will run you through how we get an estimate of what is selling, um, how many are selling per month. Um, Cause this kind of thing is invaluable. So one thing I want to mention with the rank, especially if it's a high rank um, item, if itself, if one sells, the rank will drop quite a bit. Um, so you want to look at it over a period of time. So on a Keepa graph, if there's several drops, it means the, that they sold, right? But there's a specific way you can even skip that and just find out how many sold per month. So I recommend getting in that group if you're not and checking out that training. So. Cool. So any, any questions about the, the rank on that? Before we move on, because I don't know if we've made that clear or not. I know, as soon as I move on, somebody's going to have a question. And that's, that's okay. okay. You guys totally, you know, ask the question if you still <clears throat> have them. No problem. We can go backwards. All right, cool. So, who's excited to learn more? What to learn more? <laughs> <laughs> I dig that guy you found. He's hilarious. So you want me to guys tell you a secret? So you see how Matt's in the button down shirt, right? He's in sweatpants too. <laughs> 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 Makes me so happy. <laughs> and he says, love it. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So here we go. So um, these are, we started out, you know, we're about a month in. A yeah. A little bit more right in there. Yeah, and, and like we mentioned, guys, we have a course, we have a training that teaches um, specifically what we do with the online arbitrage model, and we'll talk about like what exactly it's different about it. But um, 
yeah, what, what we did, what I did is I reached out to folks to say, okay, so how's it going like so far, you know, um, where, you know, how have things been going since you've joined our course? So um, here, here's, here's what I'm finding is that people are making money, they're making sales. And I'm happy to promote this kind of thing because we used to be like, um, you know, doing like all kinds of stuff like network marketing and, and uh, affiliate marketing and all that kind of stuff. And the problem was we weren't seeing people really making any money like in the first month. So um, Sam, I just got with him. Um, he's actually, his numbers jumped. He's already at $1,100 for his next payment. And he just got started. Um, another one to click on. Now this is uh, Amber. Amber's been selling on Amazon for a little bit of time. Um, she actually saw us speak on stage at an event that we were talking about, about our online arbitrage model. How we do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she was doing about like $2,000 in sales in a month, okay? And then she went from that to doing about $20,000 in a month, just from the training that we gave her. And then around Christmas, which Q4 is like, you know, one of the best times to be selling, right? Everybody has high numbers in Q4. And she was at $25,000 in sales, awesome. Um, but now, now she's in our course, um, she's on target, she says, for about a $30,000 month this month. And she's seeing an increase in her profit. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so when you increase in your profit, profits are so, it's so important because um, <laughs> Marcos wants to know where he signs up. <laughs> yeah, uh, so uh, Marcos, you should join us on the webinar. We're gonna talk about that in just a minute. All right, so with, um, where was I at? With profit. Oh, profit. So think of it this way. You're doing less work for more money. That's when you, when you start focusing on profit because when we first started out, and again, this is something I'm happy to share with you guys because um, I thought we were making money on certain products. So, but what was happening is we were breaking even. So what we were doing is working for no money. It was like the stupidest thing. Right? And now don't get me wrong, occasionally we have items tank and we lose money. And that is, is fine, but I mean, the, the proportion of that is so small that we profit way more. So, so it still happens, but really a lot less. We were like, wow, we're selling all this stuff. And then I looked at the profits and I was like, what is going on? <laughs> so that's one of the things in our course, we, we focus on profits because I am all about uh, less work, more money. Yeah. So, and then we have another member, and Tanya, she's on here. Tanya, are you on here? Yeah, she is. Okay, cool. So Tanya, would you mind sharing like uh, where you're at now? Like what are your gross sales right now? Tanya just got started too. Just barely, brand new, like zero. Yeah, March 8th is when she got started, she said. Or was it March 8th when you got started? And she's already, according to this, she was at 686. But I think she's, when I talked to her last night, she was like 700 and something. So... Yeah, Denise says, awesome. Yeah, I love it, cool. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, you know, it's just see people making money, making sales. And that's why I'm really happy to, to share this kind of information because it really does make a difference. Hey, Tanya, I'm gonna unmute you. There you go. Oh, we're at 768 for the last three weeks. Oh, Woo! right on, congratulations, awesome. Except we're at that part where kind of like you were where we're selling a lot but we're not making a lot of profit I mm -hmm. think a lot of that is maybe getting ungated which we're working on mm -hmm. but because I, I can see higher profits there but I we've just got to get to where the profits higher and you will and that's and you mean, know that's the thing you're just getting started right yeah yes, that's the thing yeah. we're yeah. doing better than we thought we would the first month yeah, I was, I was sharing with you. I mean, that's better than we did in our first month. So pretty freaking cool. Thank you. Yeah. And once you get that inventory lab set up, and, or you have inventory lab set up, but once you start to get more higher volume and stuff like that, you'll be able to play with the numbers a little bit more and see what's actually working, see what's actually selling well, and then you'll be able to sell more of those particular items. Right. Yes. Yeah. Well, are we going to be okay at 32 on some of the things we're working on getting ungated in? We only, they only shipped 32 of what we ordered. Do you think we'll still be okay? Yeah, I would try it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yay. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Congratulations. Thanks. So, um, Denise says that, uh, and Denise is another one of our members. 
our gross in March was $9,300. $9,300, that's our best since Q4. That's great. So, awesome. Woo! Good job, guys. Congratulations. That's great. <laughs> Wonderful. And uh, so what we thought to share, too, is just some of our other clients as well. And some of you guys might know the, this lovely couple. They're amazing, super fun to work with. And I just, um, he's just a privilege to know, really. And, well, both of them. Um, but, yeah, he, um, he's actually the one that got me onto shoes, uh, again. Because I tried shoes, but in a whole different way. And, uh, yeah, he just, he goes out, he takes massive action. So let me just give you a little tip here, guys. One of the reasons why he's so successful, because I worked with a whole bunch of people and I had two clients that were like, um, just they hit it so hard and they succeeded so well. And what it was is speed of implementation. So I would show up on a call with him and they would be like, okay, this is what's wrong. What can I do? And I would tell them and within <laughs> for Carrie, actually in one day, um, he's like, okay, so I have this set up, this set up, and this done, and this done in one day. And his sales doubled. You know, he went from 30K to 74K in a month. So <laughs> another client of mine, every week I would meet with him, and he would already have everything handled and done that I had talked to him about before. And he would have new questions for me, new things he wanted to know, and he would implement them. And, and he had a killer sales month in um, Q4, over 100K in a month. So that's, I love being able to help clients, but this is the other part of it. And this is the mindset stuff, like, like going, why we went to Tony Robbins. I want to have a full cup so I can help fill you guys up. But if you guys get out there and take that action and you keep going and you keep learning, that's where the magic will happen for you guys. We're totally happy if you guys surpass us in sales, Gary surpassed us in sales. That, I'm cool with that. I don't have an ego. Like I have to have the biggest sales. I am good at teaching stuff. I am good at figuring stuff out. And I want to do that guy for you guys. So, Yeah. Well put. Yeah. So just to show you that other client that Sherry was talking about. Um, I skipped the slide. Yeah. So he was showing us his sales and he didn't want his name mentioned, which is totally cool. So we put a mystery question mark there. But he did $107,000 in October in his sales. So October. And That's not even December. <laughs> So yeah, just to show you what's possible again, you know, anytime we're showing income or anything like that, um, you know, your, your, your income is going to be based on your own individual effort, right? Just because uh, these guys do it, uh, it means it's possible for you as well. Okay. That's it what we want to say. Effort but and mindset. It. Yeah. So we want to be clear about that. So, and how many of you guys would like to hear like our story, like how we got started selling on Amazon? It's a good one. <laughs> yeah, Denise says me. Okay, cool. Well, I'll start. So um, we had uh, had a photography business and Matt was out of town all the time. And when we first had it, it was amazing. It was a wonderful like answer to what we were looking for. We wanted to be able to do different things, get out there, you know, meet new people. And we traveled together. And then after we had Maceo, our son, um, it was harder because I could, I, we didn't want to take Maceo with us all the time. And, um, Matt would be on the road and he was gone pretty much two months of the year, pretty much solid. And that's a long time to be away from your baby when they're changing and growing. And so we wanted something different. So we started looking for ways to make money. Right. And, uh, we tried a lot of things and they, for us didn't work. We failed at them really, really hard over and over and over. So much so that by the time we got to Amazon, we had maxed out our credit cards almost. We had just a tiny little bit left and we were utilizing that to buy our mail at the store. And we're like, we, we were like looking at moving in with my parents. I mean, we were desperate, right? And we found Amazon, thank goodness. And I remember when we first started, <laughs> You know, it's like, we were so excited. We were like, oh my gosh, we got 10 sales today. <laughs> and, you know, so when we started, we were actually doing stuff that was outside of terms of service because that was the training we got, man. That's what people said to do. Um, so that's one of the, another reason I wanted to do the training. To the best of my knowledge, everything that we teach is current and works today and is not outside terms of service. 
Um, because that was the thing. We had trainings that like really messed us up because we would do them. Matt, thankfully, is a massive action taker. And we would go out and we would do them. And then we would get in trouble because the training was incorrect. The training was teaching things that were um, not good to do and Amazon didn't want you doing. So um, as we got started after that, we started, we did some selling for Phil. Once we hit FBA, it was like, wow, we found it. This is great. <laughs> We've been looking for a way to make money while you sleep for years. <laughs> and when we found it, it was like, holy crap. When you wake up and your phone and you're like, oh, I was on ship to myself. I'm on ship to myself. Oh, <laughs> I got out of my massage yesterday, two days ago. Anyway, six items shipped while I was getting my massage. So how cool is that? It's called leverage. Leverage. Leverage is the best thing ever. So we, you know, we stumbled. We tried all different models. We tried private label. We tried liquidation, which again, I do not recommend that is now outside of terms of service. Um, uh, wholesale broker deals. Um, yeah. Drop shipping. Yeah. Which again, outside terms of service, we did all of that and we really found our groove. It was actually in, uh, November of 2015, we started OA hard, hard. We started doing the, the lists and we started, we were like, okay, we need to figure out something here. And, uh, yeah, since then. We've been successful, thank goodness, right? How amazing is that? And we've been able to hire wonderful, amazing people. Um, and we just have a great team as of right now. And just moving forward, it's just fun. I, I really love being able to, I love the people I work with, you know? We do, um, you know, a Facebook uh, feed, uh, message feed back and forth and stuff. It's fun. Yeah, cool. <laughs> oh, and we got to, do, we were so successful that we got to fulfill one of our dreams and speak on stage. Like imagine sitting in the audience at a network marketing event, right? Where you're sucking so hard and no one will buy anything from you and you've gone all in and you have paid thousands of dollars and you make no money. <laughs> And no one wants to buy from you because you don't have a good story. You're like, hey, I spent thousands of dollars and I didn't make any money. Buy from me. Nobody wants to do that. So we found Amazon. I was like, oh my gosh, we can just find product and people will buy it? It's like the most relieving thing. <laughs> but I was sitting in my seat, you know, at one of those uh, events. And I was like, gosh, I want to be up there. I want to be with those people who are succeeding. I want to be able to not just be home for my kid, but to be happy and home for my kid. Like to be, to not have that stress and the fear and the money, continual fear, right? And um, we did it. We spoke on stage last year. Actually, it was a year ago, a year and a couple of weeks ago. And uh, yeah, it's, I mean, I, I just can't tell you. We don't have like a mansion or super nice cars. But we are here. We get to spend time with our son. We get to be together. I mean, we, we work from home together. Um, since the Tony Robbins event, we've been dancing around the house, jumping on the trampoline, and, you know, playing. <laughs> so, anyway, I don't know if that's where you were going with all that, but <laughs> <laughs> I kind of skipped some stuff, too. Outsourcing, we recommend that. We do that. <laughs> Denise says, I love your energy. I remember you all on stage. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she says, look how I look at you. Matt loves me. I do. I love her. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just what, what Sherry's alluding to. It's just basically, you know, um, the, our, the reason why we were on stage is because of our model, the online arbitrage stuff that we teach, because it is unique and it is different. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, anyway, so what we like is that it basically provides freedom. And the reason that... Um, um, the reason I do that is because we outsource. We outsource pretty much every single task in the business. And we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Here's a photo of us uh, we did in October. We're just on vacation. Amazon's shipping the item we sold. Somebody's buying product for us. Somebody's shipping product for us. Um, somebody's taking care of the fulfillment <laughs> and all that. And then, you know, uh, we get to travel, you know. So 
Uh, we just thought we'd share that because uh, we, this is what we want that's possible for you, you know? Um, so again, who would like to learn uh, more about, you know, the outsourcing type? Our the, specific system, our, what the, we do. Yeah, specifically with our model, what we're talking about here. We talk so long, I'm out of water. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Of yes. Of course. Yes. Okay. Cool. Woohoo! Me. Me. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. So um, essentially, but basically, any business. Okay. There's four tasks. Well, for any of the Amazon models, four right. tasks. Right. So there's shipping into Amazon. There's buying, sourcing product. There's account management, and then there's repricing. And you can do repricing and account management, but we put them separate because you do want to keep track of what's going on with your prices. Yeah. So essentially, when you have somebody doing all of those tasks for you, then it takes you out of the business. You see what I'm saying? What we were talking about earlier, you know, I, I mean, I, you know, we were doing all these tasks and you, when you're getting started out, you should do all these tasks, right? You should do all the stuff. But eventually, what you should do is, is take yourself out of these tasks and outsource these tasks. When you've done that, then you essentially have a business system that works for you without you actually having to be there. Yeah. It's when you turn into a manager rather than a worker. Right. And right. that's essentially what's happened with us. And, and I'm just so glad because um, if the people we employ, they get to work their own hours, they get to do it themselves. Like our prepper, I'm really happy. She um, didn't want to work anymore because she was having a baby she wanted to be able to be home, but she's somebody who likes to be, do things, do a lot of stuff. And so when we offered that to her, she was really excited because she can work at her house. She can do it when, when works for her around the baby's and It's exciting for us too, because then we don't have the stuff in our house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she already had an office and everything all set up. So, I mean, like how amazing is that, right? And, and the same thing, our... Um, <laughs> The woman who does the majority of our sourcing for us, she sometimes sources at like three in the morning. Like that's when she sources. It's what works for her. Um, you know, imagine being able to get a part-time job where you're like, I might work at three in the morning. I might work at 5 p.m. I might work at 2.30 in the afternoon. Who knows? <laughs> so it's really awesome to be a blessing for other people too. I, just, I really love that. Yeah. So essentially what we did is we created a course and it's called Pajama Sourcing Secrets. Sell 50K a month without paint. And the reason that uh, or in your sweatpants, yeah, yeah. whatever. <laughs> reason that we um, <laughs> excuse me. Reason that we created or why we call it that pajama sourcing secrets is because you can work <laughs> in your pajamas. I cleared my throat and you said excuse me. <laughs> That's codependency right there. <laughs> so that was funny. So um, right. so what's all included inside our course? <laughs> so um, we have outsourcing. So we teach you, we, we teach you outsourcing. We teach you spreadsheets. Spreadsheets are huge because. Well, but outsourcing, I mean, it's not a mistake that we have three of the very best employees I've ever seen. It's yeah. Not a mistake. True. We have some. That's true. There's something have that some we're good doing. Tips. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Cause I mean, they pretty much run it. Right. And you, to, to get that kind of thing set up, you got to know some stuff. Um, so basically um, copies of our spreadsheets as well. Um, spreadsheets, like I was saying, are huge because um, it's how the employees communicate back and forth with each other. Um, and with us, too. Right. And, and then, yeah, I mean, specifically how to teach people to do this as well. So you've got to have some standards that you are using as you move forward, and then you can also teach those to somebody else. So we share the whole thing, the the... Um, the stuff for the prepper, and actually, if anybody's in the PSS course, I haven't done the outsourcing yet, so you guys will be looking forward to that in the next few trainings. Um, and then the um, sourcing checklist is, is I, I mean, I highly recommend it. Once, even just the sourcing checklist can shift your, um, your profits. So. Yeah, and then what she's talking about, sourcing checklist, is basically it's like an employee manual. So basically, it's something that, you know, what we're going to share the exact same manual that we use. So our employee looks at it and says, Oh, okay, I do this, 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 and this, and this. So imagine you'd have that all set up so you could hand that off to somebody else. And then one of the pieces of software we use is called tactical arbitrage. And so we have training on detailed training on how to use that software 
help find the deals. Um, and we were talking about replenishables. Uh, replenish, replenishables are huge, guys. It's not just about finding those products, but it's finding those products that you can sell over and over again. So the, the tactical arbitrage is about finding those products. Um, storefront other soccer. Other products too. Tactical arbitrage is seriously the most powerful sourcing uh, software out there. But the problem with tactical arbitrage is you have to, there's a learning curve. And I like to think that our training cuts that learning curve down because there's just a lot of products out there. Um, but I do know people who get frustrated and quit. Actually, when we first started tactical arbitrage, we quit. Yeah. Um, because it was, uh, it was frustrating. It was like, I don't understand how to do this. And so I, instead of doing that, we went back, we started it, we did it until we were successful at it. And then we started to train on it because I really think that it can change your life. So then we have uh, product list training, um, just trains how we go through a list. Um, so, you, you know, it's important because, you know, there's only so much time in a day, right? And so much energy that you can devote to it. And if there's a way you can just go through a list very quickly, find the items that you want to buy, buy those items, and then get off and do something else. Um, that, do you guys feel like that would be valuable for you? Well, okay, while you're um, answering that, I'll, we'll move on. So repricing training, um, this is where you can use a repricer. So yes. this is huge, like Sherry was talking about, somebody wanted to pay just for the repricing training. So when you get, when you get really wide and you get a ton of different products, then a repricer becomes super huge to your business. Because what you can do is you can just set the criteria in the repricer and it'll just, it'll move through those prices. Uh, it'll, it'll find the price for you so that it'll sell more. When we got a repricer, it jumped up our sales considerably. It jumped it up and it kept our sales more steady, more consistent. And the other thing with the repricer is if you set it up wrong, you can be setting yourself up to not profit. I mean, you got to do it correctly. That's right. one of the things. Yeah. Don't want one of those horror stories where it sells for a penny or something because the reprice messed up. Well, a lot of repricers won't let you do that anymore. Uh-oh. <laughs> Somebody, hold on. So, um, while well, you're doing that, so then we talk about ungating training. So we, we go through, we share the places you can utilize to get ungated, um, different things that you can do to do that. And then inventory lab training, so it trains you on how to utilize inventory lab. Because as far as doing your numbers, getting stuff listed, um, it is just the best uh, I know of, and we love it. It really has helped our business a lot, and it saves time as far as when you're doing, uh, when you're getting stuff listed on Amazon, Inventory Lab saves a lot of time, and then we're going to be doing some PPC training, which we haven't done that yet either. Yeah, so pay-per-click, PPC stands for pay-per-click, if you're not familiar. Um, when you go into, <clears throat> excuse me, when you go into Amazon, you can set up advertising for those items. So that they'll sell quicker. So that's what we, we teach on them that. Yeah. And then the cool thing is, and this is a new thing um, we added afterwards, was live weekly group coaching. So the, how awesome is that, that you can watch other people work with me and learn from them. And you can also bring right where you are right now. So let's say you're having trouble with your shipment or you're having a kind of a block in your price repricing, in your account management, anything like that. Um, we go ahead and, I, and I, I get on there with you and I take on whatever challenges is you, it is with you and we can get them solved. Can you guys hear the dog barking in the background? <laughs> She's uh, protecting us. You know how it goes. So, <laughs> so I think one of my sales friends is trying to come play with him, but he's not here. So Then the masterminding. So we have a Facebook group where you can ask your questions. And yeah, woof. <laughs> So yeah, uh, we have, have a Facebook group where you can mastermind, get your questions answered. Um, I uh, think that when you are masterminding with other people who are doing the same thing you are, it really is powerful. We were actually just talking about this. And um, I think for us, when our business grew the most is when we were masterminding with people. It was because you, you see what other people are doing and then you start coming up to them. Right. I'm sure I missed something. Oh, you're talking about group, group coaching yeah. and yeah. Okay, cool. So who this is for. So this is for anybody who's looking to, to um, increase their business, to do more, you know, uh, make more of less time spent. Um, like if you're really heavy into RA and you want to start doing OA. Um, this is for people who 
um, maybe have been doing drop shipping or eBay and they want to learn how to do Amazon. This is for people who are looking to make money and don't know they're starting from the, from scratch. We, we help with that too. Um, this is not for people who are looking for a get rich quick scheme, people who are unwilling to do the work because I will train you on the best stuff I know how to do. But if you don't do it, I can't, I can't do that for you, you know? Um, and if you give up easy, this isn't for you business. I don't think going into business for yourself is easy across the board because there are always going to be issues and obstacles to overcome. And that's, that's part of the fun. That's part of why you do this kind of thing to challenge yourself. But if you are somebody who at the first sign of a, of a, of a challenge of any kind, you're out the door, this isn't for you either. Did it cover everybody? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you guys get a sense of this. Okay, so we also, um, in there is a $3,500, so Matt talks about how he did an RA trip where he did $3,500 profit in a one day trip. Yeah, so like, I mean, again, you know, talking about maximizing time. So if you are gonna do like retail arbitrage, how would you guys like to know, you know, if you do retail arbitrage, how do you maximize your time so you get the most out of it? The, the, the negotiating that we were talking about and stuff like that, um, we actually, I actually detailed training on how I did that. So you can really score some killer deals that way. You can. And then there's the how-to video library. So I have a how-to library in the free group, and then I have some additional how-tos in the, um, this group here, plus the, the pajama sourcing secrets group, plus the, um, the other trainings that we're doing, the, the live trainings that we do. And, and then and wholesale. So like if you guys are interested in getting into wholesale, we show you how we set up, or we're going to show how we set up our wholesale account. Because, uh, you know, like we were talking about, you're doing retail arbitrage, you're doing online arbitrage, you can branch that out into reaching out to these guys for wholesale, so you can even deeper further those channels. Like we were talking about, there's certain deals that you find, like, just, just to give you an idea of what it's like, is you have certain, you, have, you go very wide, is what we do. Uh, you find the ones that work, but some of them don't work, right? Some products that you buy, you're actually going to lose money on, okay? But it's the ones that do really well that's where you go deeper into those products and you can even go into wholesale on those particular items. So um, just to give you a sense, like um, when we're talking about, you know, uh, doing this, like doing an Amazon business and setting up a system like what we're talking about, you know, if you were to like do a Quiznos, right, for example, you know, you'd be looking at like $150,000 to start a Quiznos, right? Because that's just the franchise fee. That isn't well. It's, yeah, total, right? Because it's about seventy-five thousand for a franchise fee. I actually looked into oh, okay. it one time, and it's about seventy-five thousand just to get like a. That was years ago, though. Right? A, it's more probably now. more now. Just to get a like an empty office or like an empty retail space to look like a Quiznos costs seventy-five thousand. So that's one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And when when you get started with like a, a franchise like that, man, it's like they'll fill, have you fill out forms that say you know, you're probably going to fail, you know, just to protect themselves. So, I mean, just to give you an idea of like the difference between, you know, setting up a system like what we show you and doing like a Quiznos, um, there's a lot less risk, right? There's some challenges to overcome, but there's a lot less risk as far as financially. Yeah. So, and we have a guarantee. So our guarantee is that if you're not doing what we've set up is if you're not doing ten thousand dollars in sales in a month by uh, i'd say within a you know i don't know what do you think probably eight months or so a oh, phone's gonna die then we have a hundred percent you know guarantee that i'll basically work with you until you're doing that i'll make dang sure but you got to be the right person right yeah you got to be you got to have done the training and stuff you yeah you got to gone through the training so. and you got to be like into it and make you know doing your best you know applying this, if I, you know, applying yourself. If I see you doing it and you're, and you're not reaching the results and something's wrong because it really does work. That's the thing. You know, somebody talked to me the other day and they said, yeah, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. And he said, you know, like when you go join a gym, you know, I'm not sure if it's going to work. <laughs> and I thought that was a good analogy. I was like, wow. Okay. Go into a gym and uh, expecting the gym to work. The, you know, you guys see the flaw in that, right? No, you go to a gym for you to do the work. It's an environment, supportive environment for you to do the work. And that's the kind of people that, you know, 
that we have inside our group. But we want to make sure that you understand, hey, you know, you apply the effort and we'll do our best to support you and help you. But that's the thing. I mean, there isn't any reason if you're applying the effort that it shouldn't work for you. How awesome is that? I yeah. mean, we have just done tons of effort and fallen flat on our faces over and over and over. So this is a question here is um, basically an estimation of a profit in a month or a year. So I'll tell you this, when we started this model, um, we started it, you know, we just barely started in November, sometime in November. So what I did is like January to March. So or actually mid December to March, we got to $35,000 in sales per month um, by that point. So it took us three months, but we had some budget to spend. That's, that is the, really the variable is how much money you have to spend on your business. But in 30, with $35,000 a month, it depends on how much you're doing personally versus how much you're outsourcing, that you're gonna be anywhere um, between around 7,000 profit. You could be a little less than that if you're outsourcing more maybe, or you could be more like, um, eight or nine, depending on how your stuff rolls. So right in there. And, but again, you have to have the money to spend to get to the, to get to that. If you guys are starting out thrifting, it takes a little longer. So, but still, um, our friend Gay, who started out thrifting, she hit a million dollars within a couple, like, couple was, years. Her yeah. first year, she didn't hit it, but her second year, she hit a million dollars in sales. So there's potential there even for starting out slow. And she did it all with no debt. So. Yeah, so if you guys want to find out more, um, if you're interested in, in jumping on this, um, what we're offering is for the next three people who want to take advantage and get our mentoring, get just, you know, speed up the process, setting something like this up. Um, you can go to oaprofits.com and... Per month. Dean is asking, okay. So you go to oaprofits.com and that's where you can go to get set up. So, and then lastly, guys, um, or do you have any other final thoughts about that or any other questions before we move on? Yeah, because we're going to do the drawing. Well, do you know how many, so I have the random number generator. Do you know how many people? Well, there was about 32 people that signed up for it, but okay. how many of you guys here um, signed up for the drawing for the free book? I don't know if anybody here actually is. <laughs> Oh, okay, Tanya did. Okay. okay. Well, Tanya, you may be the only one. You might be get a free book. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, Nikia was here. Okay, good. So, not a lot of folks actually from the from the from the live feed actually signed up or here at the drawing. So we're gonna go by who's here. Dina did. Dina did. Okay. Couldn't get in. Okay. That's fine. So Dina. So and then Sue says Sue. she did. Okay, good. And Tanya. Okay. That's four. Okay, cool. So um, let's do this. Let's do a random number generator. Anybody else before I do it? That's four. We're going to pick a number generator and whoever's the closest is going to get it. Jeff did. Okay, good. So <clears throat> what do you mean? Whoever's no, closest to the number. I thought I thought you assigned people numbers. I did. I did. Oh. But we're gonna have to do by who's closest because not everybody's here. So do you know who? Do you know their numbers? No, we'll we'll look it up though. Do you but guys know you your numbers? Then you can't. Yeah. Do you guys know your numbers? Oh, and Marco. Marco did. says he he did. Okay, cool. So okay, so we're gonna. So you want to do it like that, or do you want to just assign numbers right this minute? What's my number? <laughs> As you know, it's mine. Okay. Okay. So let's actually do it like this. We're going to do, we have nine plus four right now. So 13. We're going to do it on 13. So it's, uh, oh, now it's three. So 12. Okay, 12. So we have three on here and nine on here. So it's going to go, I have a list of everybody here and then, okay, are you ready? We're going to do it. Generate. Eight is the winner. So that's three. So five down here is going to be one, two, three, four, five. 
Melissa is our winner. Hey, congratulations, Melissa. So Melissa, just get with me on Facebook and just send me a uh, message with your address and I'll send that book out to you. <laughs> Tony Robbins, unshakable. So do you guys have any other questions? Dina says, congratulations, Melissa. Yep, and Melissa says, awesome, thank you. You bet, I'm glad you guys were here. Um, you know, I think that these things are, um, Again, just there are ways to start expanding what you think is possible, right? I remember the first time anybody ever said to me, hey, what if you could profit $15,000 in a month? And I was like, who? <laughs> and we've done it, right? And we've done it with Amazon. Um, it's possible. Um, but you got to keep stretching, right? You got to stretch. You got to find something, especially if you, what you've been making is like a couple hundred bucks a month um, from, from a side business or something like that. So. What? No, no. Let's just see if there's any other questions. All righty. We're going to take a last call here. And we're at an hour and a half. So did you guys get value out of this? Did you find this stuff useful? Any big takeaways? I enjoyed being here with you guys. It was fun. <laughs> Jeff did. <laughs> Good. Yeah, okay, good. It was helpful. helpful. Awesome. Okay, good. We're really glad. Good, good. Melissa says, great training. Awesome. Okay, good. Okay, good. So let's just show up this link real quick. Okay. Um, again, now, like we talked about, who's this for, who's this not for? Um, if this is for you and you want to get started with our, our mentoring, and, and we got a full year, like I said, of just helping you out on an insider private Facebook group, just go to oaprofits.com. Three things that I say. Got to have budget to buy inventory. Um, you got to have, um, you got to be coachable, right? Cause like we were talking about with, you know, going to a gym and expecting the gym to work for you. It's not going to work for you. you got to, so the third thing is, um, got to have time. Thank you. Yeah. I was trying to think. Got to have a little <laughs> bit of time in your week, work week to, uh, to get this going. So, oh, Sue says good reviews on the book. Okay, cool. So those are the three things that I say. So you got to have those three things. Um, you know, those are the people that we want to work with. Those are the people that we know we can help. And if you don't have those things, or if you're not sure about stuff, just send me a message on Facebook and we'll see what we can work out. So yeah, Matt, Matt's been chatting with people, you know, and people get stuff just from chatting with Matt. I yeah. do all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's true. <laughs> Learned a lot. Awesome. Oh, good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, cool. All guys. right, guys. Well, we're going to end this. Um, Again, if you have any other questions, just let us know and uh, be sure to join our free Facebook group as well, okay? All right, guys. We'll have a great Sunday. See you guys. So I'll just click finish here. <laughs>